Jirwan Pika. I haven't seen Jashir Wan's Pika. I've seen a Falcon. This Falcon can do some pretty nice stuff. But I've yet to see his Pika, so we'll see how it holds up versus Shima and Let's Go. Okay, so I guess the ports were correct, but they were yeah. just warming up with completely different characters. Yeah, they're probably warming up different characters. Sometimes I find it better to warm up with Fox than uh, with my other character. Oh wow, that was pretty that was a really nice up yeah. out of the um, up tilt club. That was a very conscious, smart scene. So but it's Let's Go for Pika or Shima? Let's go to the I wow. actually don't know. That's just working. Uh, Shimen should be Luigi. Yeah. Let's go Shimen and Luigi based okay. on their seats. Um, and no matter how this may seem right now, this tournament is not single Pika. Uh, you can make it yeah, I'm happy about that, actually. Um, they're just opting to only have one Pika on each of their Hey. Maybe they think they don't have to. Maybe they think they don't even have to go Pika Curve because this is like a waterfall bracket, so yeah. no matter how bad you do in place, if you're good enough, you can still go to D1. Well, I think this is just round robin pools into a bracket. I don't think Is it really? Like, I don't think just division. There's no um, waterfall? I don't think so. I thought there was waterfall. That'd be pretty crazy because double only really finishes. Yeah, it's, there's no way because double only finishes. That was a really like nice edge guard by CGG. He just double edge guard both of them. Yeah, and I was just about to point out that blue team had the lead, uh, but now. That's how it can turn in this uh, in like a lot of matchups involving like one-hit wonders and like, Luigi. Right? Oh man, CGG is really good at playing around and target switching. Like target switch is one of the more like undervalued like aspects of teams. Being able to switch off your current target and move to another, like with speed, and being able to give up on the opponent you're trying to attack at the moment. That was a really fast back throw. Good um, knowledge going for that. Going for that back there. I feel like a short hop up air would have been better from Luigi rather than the grab. The short hop rising up air, and then you might have been able to re lead to another one that would be. But he's on the screen now. <laughs> oh my god. That's one thing about Puff. Puff can spam rest a lot more than she can in singles just because her teammates always there to help out. As long as you have a teammate playing support, always help you out. Buff can do a lot of damage output. Yeah, Buff can do a right? massive amount of damage. Like, really fast. That was a nice um, grab punish. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's grabbing everybody. <laughs> and she tried to taunt cancel. What a nerd. Good DI. That's a really good DI, yeah. Luigi's still living for barely. Uh, both blue team on their last dog. Luigi's still alive. Luigi trying to put this work at the ledge to assist his teammate in recovery, but mm. it's looking rough for blue team. Both of them are Oh my god, what a nerd. You don't do that. Just do that, please. Yeah. If he can make it back, it's gonna be a miracle. If he can make it back from this. Well, this could be a. This, okay, could have possibly set up to be a KO, and then it's just a one v one where. Dude, come on, stop taunting. If you lose, you're gonna look like an idiot. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Red team gonna take game one. Honestly. It's a pretty chaotic game. Yeah, that's how teams can be sometimes. Sometimes yeah. teams can be like this beautiful, like completely different art form, or can just be like two singles matches at once. Yeah, sort of. This one, that last game was kind of a combination of both. They were like, doing their own singles matches, and every now and then they'd help each other. Oh man. A little greedy without a B right there. Should have for probably down B just to get the same. Oh I my god. I can't believe that connected actually. Yeah, yeah, I like grab punish again. Yeah, we're gonna beat that. Man, he's, a, he's going for a, a little too much mileage on the, all of his conversions, Luigi. Yeah. He's not really able to convert all of his uh, moves into as much as he would like to think. Man, Puff alone is very bad for Puff. Puff being like one of the slower characters, not the best player. It's very awful when you're pressured by two people at once. For sure. That's why it's so skillful to to be able to play this character with the evasion. Yeah, for does. real. Neil would just do well at two ones. Alright, back throw kill. Yeah, the first dog of Luigi. CTG still hanging on with his first dog. Yeah. 
That was really a nice decision by the Pika to go for Thunder, just to assure the kill. That was very smart, like, the reaction time, the awareness. Pivot double jump back here. Alright, alright, this is when CTG starts to, to need to keep doing what he was doing. He needs to, like, come down with a lot safer aerials. He got Like, he tried to bury the car back. Yeah, he got caught in, like, a 14 over there on the left ledge, and his teammate was just nowhere to be found. Yeah. What, what I'd like to see a lot more of is throw combos into actual attacks. So like when Luigi was holding him right there, instead of just throwing him almost immediately, he should have waited for Pika to set him up so he can either up smash him out of the throw or back air him. I agree. Because that would have assured the kill rather than getting it this late in. This is when I feel like you have to practice with your partner so you guys know what you each have to go for. Other than that, teaming with anyone usually works. Here's Puff in that 2v1 again, and even just a few hits Ooh, on the nice. Even if you're not getting a kill on Puff in a 2v1, just hitting her once twice is a big deal because of how early she can die. Even uh, sending her off stage is a big deal. It takes her quite a while to get back, yeah. so it makes it really easy to um, divide and conquer. Like, just take care of the other teammate. That's why as a teammate to Puff, you really need to be babysitting a lot of the time, more than you think. That's definitely one of Puff's biggest cruxes in um, doubles. Her speed and ability to help a partner. That goes for Puff in all game in all Smash games actually. Oh no, that was bad for them. Last that wasn't that good for trade everybody at all. actually. Yeah. Let's go. Last off, let's see if CTG and Dashir can 2-0 these guys. Or if they can get upset by Shiman and Tesco. I would actually say these teams are quite even. Yep. Oh! Yeah, one v one. Luigi and Pika. Oh no! Why you just run down with the nair? There's no reason not to. Oh, nope. so. Gets it. All right, we're going to game oh, three. Man. Did he pop off? Yeah, he did. He definitely popped off. He popped off hard, pretty hard. All right. So let's say we're going to game three, and um, I'm not entirely sure on the map rule set because I'm pretty sure there are other mod stages allowed, if I recall correctly. There are. Um, I predict Yoshi's that is, not a right? lot of people will want to play them. It's just Battlefield and FD is counter pick. Is it Battlefield and FD? No Yoshi's. Yeah. No Yoshi's. Okay. I, I feel like because I remember Yoshi's was allowed Snosa. Oh, was three. it? Yeah. I feel like not a lot of people will want to play them just for familiarity. Well, it's not the full Yoshi stage. It's the uh, without the clouds. Well, I meant Battlefield and FD at this oh. tournament. Like, not a. I feel like we won't see it counterfeit oh, very often. Oh yeah, like, yeah. More often than not, we will see all three games played on Dreamland, just because that's what people are used to at this point. We haven't seen high-level doubles happen on Battlefield and FD. Although, I feel like I, a I lot. I do want to. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of people want to play it, but yeah, they just like, yeah. But then they don't want to risk losing the tournament to unfamiliarity. Yeah. Because not a lot of people have the Everdrive to practice on. All right. Anyways, getting into game three, no character swaps, so it looks like they're still confident in their ability to perform in this team. But it looks like Shima and Let's Go are starting to figure him out quite a bit more. They're figuring that they can just send Puff off stage and focus on the rat. Yeah. Because that is definitely the strategy when facing against Puff. And right now, it look at that! Look at this broken character. You see that? He just like up aired him like four times, and he just out of jumps and just down aired him. It Rats does seem like it was coming down to those one hit wonders. We saw a lot of up -ease game two. That was really nice um, by um, Shiman, by the way, catching the DI on there and um, adjusting it in the air. That's something you don't see from a lot of players with the um, very nice people. You want to see that like a little bit of like the higher. <laughs> I think he wanted down B. I don't even want his own teammate. All right, and now blue team is split up, which is really bad for them. Yeah, you see that when they're split up, that's what happens. Yeah. Well, it's a bunch of one v ones, and CGG and Dushir want a much better one v ones than Shimon and Let's Go. One can argue Shimon and Dushir are on the same level, but I feel like CGG is on another um, level for these guys. Yeah, and it's, it helps that he's actually playing his main too. Neither yeah. blue team are playing that. Yeah, um, and Dashir remains Falcon. Yeah, and he, but he, I mean at least the Pikas are playing the best character in the game. Yeah. Oh man, rest. No team combo there again, yeah. He could have just rested to build a percent while being thrown, and even if he didn't break out of the throw, he still could have thrown him for extra percent. Sheridan just dropping us off some water bottles, very nice of him. 
Actually, I don't know how Luigi anything. was able to shield that F smash in time. Despite how fast he lost all, all of his first stocks, Disher wants to do a great job of holding on to this one. Yeah, he's not even so. taking a lot of damage. But as we say that, yeah. he's getting a little. It's not that bad percent. He's getting given the razzle dazzle right now. There it is. Yeah. He's pretty upset. You can yeah. see him shaking. So now after after he takes the stock, one yep, stock they each. This is just crazy. crazy. Um, Blue team really picked it up in these last two games. Like the last game was close. He ended up winning a two v one, but this game is just they were they were all in. Yeah. It's definitely a condition when you do really well the first game and then barely lose the second game and you just can't shake it off. You just yeah. can't let yourself go. Like, I can't believe I lost. Like, oh my god! And he still finds that would have been D. insane. Oh. A shield break on CTG would have been nuts. Looking rough for the, the, Tex the Texans right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for that. Oh, that was nice. Team West Coast gonna pick up that first set. And this is actually yeah.